the released trailer of Zwigato has made a surprise attack on the Indian film industry. Directed by Nandita Das and featuring Kapil Sharma in the lead role, Zwigato portrays all the necessary real-life elements to win the hearts of film enthusiasts. In the era of boycott culture, where movies are failing due to poor plot constructions, Zwigato's trailer promises to bring a fresh breath of entertainment. The trailer shows Kapil Sharma as a food delivery man lost in the world of ratings and incentives while struggling to survive by delivering food to consumers' doorsteps after losing his job as a factory floor manager due to the pandemic. His children despise his work, but he explains to them that in a way he is doing virtue by feeding people. And matters become worse when his wife, played by Shahana Goswami, tries to seek a job to meet the household expenses. The trailer smartly hints at the cruel reality of unemployment during and after the pandemic when a man is shown chasing the out for delivery service couple and desperately asking whether delivery jobs can get done on a cycle. In a scene, Kapil converts the phrase on a pamphlet from he's a laborer, that's why he is helpless, to he's helpless, that's why he is a laborer, pointing out the helplessness of pandemic-affected jobless people. While Kapil Sharma's previous films may not have created much impact on his acting career, Zwigato has the power to entitle him as one of the best male actors in the Indian film industry. It seems like Nandita Das has perfectly implemented her task of bringing out the undiscovered acting skills from within Kapil. Upon asking the film's director for her choice of casting the renowned Indian comedian, she stated that she noticed the common man factor in him despite not being anymore. It seems like those filmmakers who hesitated to cast Kapil in their films will now regret their decisions while witnessing his potential on the big screens. The film has already premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival 2022 and is all set to get screened at the Busan International Film Festival 2022. The release date in India is not yet confirmed.